All right, here we go on match 72. He's scheduling her to get picked up tomorrow. We got a little couple details. Mystery Mike and I are going to put the uh, distributor cap on, the rotor. We're going to run her. She has no choke, Mystery Mike, by the way. And that's getting dealt with when we need to get back because we didn't have the right parts and we're getting her out. So here we go on a beautiful 72 mock one. Hi, my name's William Weeding, and I realized I've got a passion for Mustangs. So I started Mustang Medic and basically put everything on video for you guys to be part of the process. Enjoy. So you say it only has surface rust? Really? Matt's 1972 Mach 1. Here we go, guys. MustangMedic.com. So we got new plug wires in. We've moved this off. We're going to go after vacuum lines today. We're going to look into that. We're doing the simple task of changing out the distributor cap, and we are going to change out the rotor. We're going to just, again, just for its and giggles, check the firing order just to find out get a sense why she's popping, but I, don't, I think the firing order was off. It wouldn't run at all. But we're going to look at all the vacuum lines. Gary did a lot of work on it, making the, um, making the uh, Ram Air. There's Gary in his psychedelic wear. And uh, we're going to do that and just get her warmed up and run her, see what we got. Um, I also got a rear view mirror. Gary, if you want to pull the rear view mirror off there, I'd appreciate it. And then we want to carve this off with a razor blade because it's got a new one to glue on. I got all the pieces in, in the truck. So here we go. Changing out distributor cap and rotor in a really cool 72 Mach 1. Here it is. We got this glue, this rear view mirror glue that glues it on. This is from Mustang Country. And here she is in all of her glory. So uh, I'm putting this rear view mirror on. Glue. And also we needed a battery uh, hold down. So we got that from AutoZone. Here's a distributor cap. And there is the new rotor. So we're going to be putting these on right now. Don't be concerned, uh, Ross. Ro I almost said Ross. Ay, ay, ay. This isn't my favorite Canadian. This is my favorite uh, New York, New Yorkin. <laughs> um, Matt, we, uh, we got your fender guards on there. We're diving in. Uh, so far, everything's checking out with the firing order, as I suspected. And we're going to change out the cap and the rotor and then go from there and get her started and see if she pops and crackles. Gary's putting the uh, windshield on, the windshield. Gary's putting the rear view mirror on right now. All right, so what uh, Mr. Mike is doing right now is he's comparing the distance between the old rotor to the old cap and seeing how much distance we have with our connection. What do you think, Mr. Mike? Yeah. Is it good to, it's too far away? Looks a little bit. Yeah, so it's, it's got, it's a worn rotor, worn cap, so we're changing this out. This is the last of the stuff. We changed things as we were being assigned to do them, and this electrical system was what we decided to do at the end. So for about a month and a half, it was all undercarriage, and then at the end of this project, it's all trying to get her to, to calm down um, with the backfiring and the popping that we have. So we're trying to get that straightened out before it goes. If not, um, if we can't get it done by tomorrow, she'll get taken over to Syracuse and get adjusted over in, in that atmospheric pressure. Sounds technical, doesn't it? This is pretty amazing. Look at these rotors lined up to each other and look at the distance between the tip of this and the tip of that. This is, this is a great way. It's a very inexpensive part. Get a rotor, a new rotor, put it up against your old rotor, especially if you just buy the car. This is completely worn down and creating a distance. No, no, no. It's the wrong rotor. It's, what's the wrong rotor? This is the wrong rotor? Well, they're, they're two different rotors. So they gave us a, this is the correct rotor I from... I don't know. But what I'm saying is you can't take a car that uses this rotor, put this rotor in it, because this is too short. You'll have arcing across. Yeah, but we got a new there. cap and a new rotor, so what we should I'm, be good. What I'm saying is this is the second time we've seen this come up right. where a car won't run right because of a different length rotor. Right. So this is a new one that we're theoretically going to put in. This is the old one we're taking out, but we could not... I think this one's a little too short, and it probably should have had this one in here. Right. But we're going to a new cap, so right. So that's so we're changing out the cap and the rotor, but first we're doing the rotor, right? But yeah, but anytime you're doing a tune-up, check, make sure the right rotor is in the right cap. Yep. Because you never know what you're going to get when you get these cars. All right. So here we are. We've trimmed off our battery securing brackets, so they're nice and professional, and we're now going to put them onto this uh, car. All right, battery secured, check. 
Now we're going to do a start up on her. My, Mike is doing the process of elimination. He knows about the headers. He knows about the um, exhaust system, the new carburetor, and all that fun stuff. We just checked her. She's at six degrees. And we're changing out the cap now, Mike? Yeah. We're changing out the cap and the rotor. We're going to start her back up again. I think Mike has found the problem. I think it's either a worn out rotor or it's just the wrong rotor and possibly the correct cap. The cap's got some cracks in it, so. What do you think, Carlos? Well, I don't know. We need to find out. Thank you, Carlos. Welcome. <laughs> okay, changing out the cap and the rotor. We're gonna do this painstakingly one wire at a time, put the new cap on. The road is pretty straightforward, and I'll show you our first start after that in the next part. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. So you say it only has surface rust? Really?